Hi there, Keith Schweigert here from LankSports.com with your two-minute drill for Friday night's Lancaster Lebanon League Section 2 showdown between Mannheim Central and Cocalico, set for 7 p.m. Friday in Mannheim. Quick note for this one, if you can't make it out to the game, I'll be blogging live from it, so be sure to come back to LankSports.com. I'll bring you all the action that's going on on the field, plus scoring updates from around the league. You know, this game should really have been held at the end of the year because in all likelihood, it's going to it's gonna determine the Section 2 championship. Both these teams are coming in with 3-0 and records. Mannheim Central, of course, comes in as the number five ranked team in the state by the Harrisburg Patriot News. They've knocked off Susquehannock, Wilson, and Lancaster Catholic in their non-league schedule. That's a pretty impressive run, especially with those last two games. Wilson made it to the Quad A state semifinals last year. Lancaster Catholic did the same thing in Double A last year and came into last week's game ranked first in the state in Double A. Of course, Kyle Smith was out of that game for Lancaster Catholic, their phenomenal starting quarterback. He had a sprained ankle. But as Central Coach Mike Williams pointed out, Kyle Smith didn't play defense. Manheim Central is loaded with talent on both sides of the ball. They come in averaging 232 yards on the ground, 164 through the air. Uh, Justin Gorman is the quarterback. He's 34 of 53 for 449 yards and four touchdowns. His top target is tight end Dakota Royer. Of course, Royer headed for Penn State, uh, where he's probably going to play linebacker. But he's Gorman's top target. He has six catches for 212 yards and a touchdown. On the ground, it's Joe Gruber and Dan Trafford. They combine to carry most of the load. They have 467 yards and 10 touchdowns combined through three weeks. Cocalico's three wins have all been laughers. Uh, they knocked off Lampeter Strasburg 34-21 in week one. That game w- wasn't as close as the score would indicate. Then they knocked off Exeter 35-10 and Anvil Cleona 62-13 last week. Very impressive veer option. Matt Carty is their quarterback. He's also one of their top runners. And Austin Hartman is the other guy to key on. Between him, the two of them, they have 714 yards and eight touchdowns on the season. Who's going to win? Well, you got to like Central. They're the home team. They've had tougher competition, and they have an edge in experience. I'm leaning Central's way toward this one, but don't be surprised if the Barons have a fight on their hands before they pull it out.